this video, I wanted to show that it's rather easy to get started with TiddlyWiki. Uh, too often, when somebody is going to get into TiddlyWiki, uh, they end up going down the rabbit hole of trying to figure out the saving process, uh, and they don't actually get to the using process, which is really the important thing. Uh, so it's, it's slightly clumsy, uh, but let me show you uh, the simple approach to saving that will get you going in just a few seconds. So you go to the TiddlyWiki website at tiddlywiki.com, and then this is what you're met with, and then you'll have to go down to the Getting Started page, which is right here, and then they have this nice big Download Empty button, which is an uh, easy thing to do. You just download uh, the Tiddler. The problem is that once you do that, you have to set up a way to save things. And so here I've checked the box by Linux, and there's this great big buffet of options, very little guidance to tell you which one you should use, which ones even work well. Uh, you know, you're just hit with this wall. You have to make a choice, and some of them are fairly technical. So uh, how can we get around that? Well, the truth is that you don't need to mess with any of them. So just unclick that button. Just go with this thing. So uh, importantly, you want to uh, you don't want to be auto saving. But let's save this. Uh, I created this demonstration uh, before, and so I had an old one in, in here. So we'll overwrite that, uh, and then uh, after I've downloaded it, let me open it up in the browser. So all I'm doing is just opening the file from disk in the browser. And here we go, so let's make a new Tiddler. So click the little plus to get started. So we'll call this Example Tiddler. And then we'll put some text in the box. Uh, this Tiddler is a demo. And then I'll close that, but it's not saved. It's in the browser, but as soon as we would reload the file in the website, that all would be lost, and uh, you would be back where you started. So you can click this little red button. You don't have to mess around with any kind of a saver. Uh, just click the red button. And then, uh, as long as you're not auto-saving, you can save it under the same name, empty.html, and uh, click on Replace, so you've got two clicks that you've got to do to save. That's what makes it a bit clumsy. And then when we reload, go under Recent, we see that our example tiddler is there. So boom, we're done. That really is how simple it is to get going. Now let's make a change. So let's say that we wanted to uh, put a grocery list in here. So we're going to buy milk. We're going to buy uh, eggs. And we're going to buy bacon seems to be common to demonstrate lists with uh, breakfast items. So we'll save that or uh, save that within the browser. Uh, but again, let's save it to the disk. So let's click the button, save changes. So if we were auto saving, it would give it a new name. It would put a number at the end. Uh, but since we're doing this manually, click save, click replace. And then let's verify that it's here by reloading. And there it is, our latest update. So I could create additional tiddlers. I could really do anything that I wanted to. I could go into here and change the settings. It would all be saved. So that really is as simple as it, as, uh, it is. And uh, you could continue with that indefinitely if you wanted to use, say, Dropbox, OneDrive, Google Drive to keep it in the cloud so you can use it on multiple machines. Uh, you can do that. All you would have to do is, rather than saving in the downloads directory, just download it directly into your Dropbox directory or whichever uh, other service you're using. Uh, download it to that directory on your computer, and uh, it will automatically be synced like any other file. This is just a text file. 